Hi, Ayub. Hi, how are you? Good. Are you based in, um, in Ankara, in Turkey? No, actually, I'm in Morocco. Oh, you're yeah. in Morocco. I thought because yeah. uh, Ankara photos, I thought that was Ankara in Turkey. Yeah, because I'm still in Turkey, in the University of Ankara, that's why. <laughs> oh, but you're Moroccan. First, let me introduce myself and then... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Ayub Lamish. I'm from Tangier in Morocco. I'm a biology student in uh, Ankara University in Turkey. And uh, I'm like from photography in general, videography. That's it. And when did you uh, when did you start uh, your art work? Yeah, that's like uh, from childhood. I was like uh, attending some courses. Although, so it's like a hobby for me. You know? Yeah, I like like taking pictures from in general natural places and uh, architecture in general. And recently, I like turned a little bit focused on reels with video on Instagram that 30 seconds videos. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, tell, tell me a little bit yeah. more about you. How did you get to Turkey? Actually, it was my mother's decision taking video. Yeah, uh, after taking my, my high school uh, degree, I studied one year in Rabat, the capital of Morocco computer mm. science and mathematics in English language. And I was like, I didn't like it in general, because when you choose something that you don't like, you cannot continue. continue uh, I mean, you, you choose something that you don't want to study it. You understand what I mean? So I choose uh, studying something I mean, outside, going outside Morocco, discovering people, discovering new places, and that's it. I'm trying to be an international student in general, you know. Is it hard to learn a whole new language? Yeah, actually, a little bit hard, but you know, practice, you know. Now I have like from four to five languages, Arabic, French, English, Turkish, a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> How do you think but, that you see the world differently because you like have four know all these languages yeah and have to deal with all these different people yeah actually when coming to turkey i like uh, is exploring new people from different uh, countries and i get to know their personality their way of thinking traditionals and all of side cultures in general that makes me like an open mind a little bit to to a uh, general country and getting a lot of knowledge yeah and how how can you share these? Have you how have you tried to share the stories? I know that you so you started to take the video videos and images. Have you thought of how you're going to yeah. talk about what you're seeing and uh, what you're experiencing? Actually, what I'm experiencing in general, whether in Turkey or in Morocco, is like having an idea that I was to transfer. For example, when I when I was in Turkey, a lot of people think that Morocco is like uh, something different uh, and it, uh, some people even know, uh, don't know where is where is located you know what I'm saying and when I came from Turkey to Morocco because I'm studying now uh, online from, um, from online and uh, I stopped making videos to show the people not even in Turkey but in all the world the uh, beautiful places and uh, the nature, you know, in general, the Morocco in a good picture and even in a good matter, you know. What is, what is it that you would like people to see? Like, what, what, give me some examples of some places that people might know, not know about. Sorry, could you can, you, give, can you give me some example of places that maybe nobody knows that exists that? Yeah, actually in Morocco. Yeah. Or, uh, Actually, I'm from, even. I'm from Tangier. It is located in the top north of Morocco. It is like 30 kilometers from Spain. You can see it from house. <laughs> and uh, I started making oh. some photos and videos from my city first. And then going outside, you know, the holidays. Like, uh, 
like for about two weeks, two days ago, I went to Ifran city and I start shouting like videos from the San Pedro's. The blue city looks amazing. I want to go there. Yeah, the blue city is, it's called Chef Shaolin. It was like two hours, yeah, two hours from here, from Tangier. It's not too far. What are like the top 10 places photographers should go to in Morocco? Or top five? Yeah, there is first Marrakesh. That is the most attractive, you know, city in this uh, country. And there is Tangier, my city where I come from. Another, uh, the blue city, Chef Shawan. There is also Fes, which is the oldest city in uh, Morocco. And uh, the Sahara, the desert in general, having exciting views there. I haven't been there, but I wish to go there. <laughs> Actually, it is like 24 hours from my city, one day long. Wow. Driving. Yeah, it's so far. That's far. Yeah. Um, and what, are, what about like five places that they may never heard of? Like, are, is there somewhere in the city, like in Rabat, is there somewhere that's like amazing to photograph? Yeah, there is like uh, the mosque, the mosque uh, of Hassan Five in Tangier. It is the tallest, the tallest mosque in Tangier, which is like uh, having an amazing place built in like in the top of the hill. You know, it is uh, what. It's between 958, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember exactly the time of it. So how are you experimenting now with reels? Uh, what, tell us a little bit about people. So for people that have not started using reels, what advice do you have on it? Yeah, actually reels, it's a good, it's a good way to share your content because Instagram automatically have like a, what we call geometric like uh, why seeing a good reel a good video i mean a good content in general they are like sharing it to people who you don't follow who don't follow you for example i see myself posting a reel and uh, i have like thousand followers it actually gets two thousand uh, views in like two hours or you know it's like spreading it in instagram that's a good actually Okay, in the Instagram, yeah. Yeah, apparently it, that once you have a reel, it shows it to 10 people. If those people open, it shows it to another 10 people. If those people open, it shows it to another 10. Yeah, so maybe it appears, it appears also mm -hmm. in the research, research the screen a lot. For example, yeah. they are starting from your area and then exploding it, you know. So what would be, what's your like goal with it? What are you, uh, I'm opening one now. Yeah, that's the hyperlapse one. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. There was actually amazing many pages there. It's, yeah. How, how, did you find that something that works better is the cover than others? The cover, I like that. Like, very one. <laughs> Actually, the most difficult part while making reels is that how to transform an idea in 30 seconds. That's a big deal, you know. <laughs> I know. It's really very hard and difficult to make like from 15 to 20 videos in 30 seconds. That's a little bit hard and challenging. You know? Yeah, and apparently it's really the first five seconds that anyway they're grading. Yeah, yeah, actually. The most important thing is that the three, the, the first three seconds, which goes like, which attracts the people who watch. I mean, and then continue like, there is a strategy in the ads, the essence, for example, in Facebook ads, Google essence in general, they are concentrating in the first three seconds. They are pulling away people to watch, to continue watching the video. You know, it's, it's like psychology something like that yeah but i mean obviously first and foremost make something for mm. yourself and then if it works great but the reels are really like much more yeah, yeah, yeah. um getting yeah, much more yeah, the future i see that the reason well, i mean honestly, i'd love yeah. to see like 
again, like how I was asking what are like the top 10 places, let's say in Rabat, that would be so cool if you did a series of videos where we could see like, these yeah. are places people don't know about or a way that you're showing yeah. something totally different. For example, when I went yeah, uh, for about two days ago to the Eifran, the city, which is now about snow, the snowy city in Morocco. A lot of my friends in Turkey didn't know that there was there were the snow existing in Turkey. They all started asking me where the <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because sometimes people There's snow in Turkey too, right? You can, is huh? there snow in Turkey also? Yeah, there's snow so much in Turkey. It's go to minus twenty in some cities. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always a unique thing when you have experiences like that, where not many people in Morocco know that much about Turkey, not many people in Turkey know that yeah, much about Morocco. Yeah. So there's a lot of content that you can share that like will educate uh, yeah. both audiences and be like exciting because both countries have really interesting, beautiful yeah. places uh, that yeah. they just are, I guess there's not that been that much content in the past to showcase it or yeah. The content that you're seeing is really from like the travel couple. Like I feel like yeah. mostly it's the travel <laughs> couples that go yeah, and they wear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm playing the role like the ambassador. <laughs> the ambassador, like showing people, my friends in Turkey, and while going there, I show some uh, places to my friends in uh, in Morocco. You know, like exchanging the the culture, the environment we are there. Yeah, the more we see, the more we change. So it's yeah. always to show people. And uh, yeah, that's like part of the duty. Mm -hmm. My last summer was in the Fethiye. Fethiye, Antalya, and some beautiful places in Turkey. They were like, like a paradise. They call the paradise of Turkey there. Some, some of my friends, you know, still ask me, have you been, uh, are you still in Turkey or did you travel to Bali or Indonesia or something? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't believe that some places exist, even in Turkey, you know. Exactly. And the it's same thing for Morocco, you know. Exactly. It's just the way, the angle, like in which you're able to share with that with people yeah. so that they understand it. And now with the 30 seconds and obviously all the short time frames, it's much more challenging. Yeah, the but most at the same challenging time you can focus in on one thing that you want to say or one thing you want to show yeah. and uh yeah and i'm sure yeah, there's sometimes, sometimes i say uh, i stand like one week to make a video wow by the what way i am making. Editing? what do you use for editing vn application or find the cut pro but mostly i use the vn because i i shot my my videos by phone so I shot this and it as a demo phone, not transferred them to, to the computer. What do you use, iMovie or? V no, VN. It's called VN? VN, yeah, VN application. Oh. It has low it... transitions, effects. Oh, it's, uh, it's, mm -hmm. Is it Google owned? I think Google owns it. Oh, you no. can find it in Google. You find it on Google. App Store, Play Store. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, what about music? Have you discovered how to use music yet? That works? Yeah. The music part also challenging by like how how to make music, uh, how we can say, parallel to the action with this inside the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, the Happy Labs video while turning on with that fountain, you know, why the changing from day to night, how the notes transfer, you know, <laughs> it's really also the most difficult part. Yeah. And uh, I use nearly the, what we call the famous songs. Famous songs that are on Instagram, but maybe I will change my view and search another type of music. Yeah, I wonder. According to the I wonder if using different languages get will get you more action. Like if you, it will. I bet you it retargets people based off of the language that the song is in. Yeah. On right in the description of the video. Or... I think in, maybe in the song. Huh. Like 
the, they're going to serve it to a different audience. But, yeah, uh, that's why I use what we call famous songs. So most of the people know, and also when you when you click on the real part of the Instagram, the the random reels that came to watch. Yeah, I I choose something sometimes from the the music. That's good. Well, thank you. I'd say the most, also the, the most challenging part of making the video. The I know. Stuff. I hope that gets easier. I think it's because it's a newer concept, so people aren't used to it. We haven't been playing with that for a long time. We don't know um, yeah. how to incorporate it. So we'll see how. how I that think, works. I think the real, the real idea comes from TikTok maybe, because yeah. they are using like the sixty at night ratio. And some of my friends told me that. You should also post on TikTok, but I don't actually get a lot, a lot of. I don't know. I don't like posting on it. I I used to to post on Instagram. That's a little bit easier and yeah, you know, gets spreading easily. Yeah, I mean you've got to keep experimenting and trying and seeing. Uh, yeah. You have to get like a hundred up there at least to, to, before you see. Mm -hmm. a there is a video there, like four hundred and. For maybe four thousand, maybe four thousand and four hundred views. Yeah, I, I could see like I could. It was really to show that day. <laughs> I can visualize really, you like yeah. if you did a lot of these, like you could you'll start to develop your own style. Like I think you should keep going with it and seeing uh, seeing what works because they're really fun yeah. to look at and so many mm -hmm. people wish they were there probably. So yeah. Yeah, that's what, what my object is to transfer the, what we call, how I see the place to many, as many people as I can. You know, transfer my point, uh, view of things, places to, to my friends, family, and also the people around the world. Why not? Yeah, yeah that video you. also was a little bit hard to show. The first, the first, uh, the first, what we call, the first stage, while coming on the sea. I was like shouting with the monopod and the stabilizer. And uh, the wind was coming in front of me and it was really difficult. <laughs> and it was raining. It was raining too. You know, it was, but in the end, when you see the video, you see, you see that the results is coming out with a the really good result, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just mm. trial and error. But I really love when it's like the story is coming from somebody that lives there because so much of the travel content we see is from yeah. visitors and especially travel couples, which are yeah. nice. But it also, I want to see like somebody that actually lives there, what they're seeing, what attracts yeah. their eye. Yeah. And it becomes so much more interesting. You mean the local? The local people? Yeah, like, yeah. like so yeah. many of the photos we get submitted from Morocco are the same photo over and over again like they go yeah. to the same places you take yeah, the yeah. same photos and so finally when you see somebody like they because of corona a lot of people go home yeah. and went home or they can't go around yeah. so they're actually showing you things that you wouldn't see before which is mm -hmm. makes it yeah, better because right. then you can study it you can learn about it and then when you do go you'll have more yeah. ideas to do that or, yeah, yeah that's true even in Morocco now, you can ask, go to many cities because they are closed. Yeah. Yeah. I recently go two days ago with having like permission to go to travel wow. to that city. Yeah. It is a little bit hard to travel, not even in Morocco, but maybe in other countries now. Yeah. Because of COVID 19. Yeah. Well, you're in a big city, so I'm sure there's tons you can do. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. the most beautiful city, maybe, in Morocco. Yeah, because it's location like the uh, the uh, the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea gives her like a good uh, sea and a good view. And even the places, the old city, are like good. You know. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ayub, for coming on, and uh, thank you. hope to see more content from you. Yeah, thank you so much. And stay safe. I would like to. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. You too, bye.